Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, here today with my buddies, Ben, Blake, and Shay, to bring you more of that commander action in the worst possible manner. That, no, that's not correct. We actually do a good job. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, do. Yeah. It's not actually the worst possible. There might be something out there worse. <laughs> But regardless, we're brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, who gives out a gift code to the comment that the winner of the game likes the most. So remember to leave a comment, and you might want to stay till the end and see who wins to see and try to figure out what kind of comment they would enjoy. So, uh, yeah, the winner will be picked from that. I'm picking the most re No, Shay is picking the most recent one because you're our returning champion. I took a week off. I'm rest. It's okay. But yeah, uh, so yeah, remember to leave a comment after you see who wins at the end. So today, first of all, I want to talk about our playmats. Mm. Da -da! Mm. Hopefully, by the time you watch this, we'll have the Covert Go Blue official playmat available for sale. Check out the link in the description and the comments. I will make sure that that is available. They are a limited quantity right now. We just have our first batch, only a hundred of them available. So make sure you check out. If it's available for sale, there will be a link below. Make sure you see that. So you too can have this beautiful collectible shark ridden playmat. And today let's get into the kind of rule zero -y worst possible discussion. I am going to play Tameshi, the reality architect. This is a new Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Commander. It's blue and white, so it's right in my wheelhouse. And it's uh, two, three, and whenever one or more non token, nope, whenever more, one or more non creature permanents are returned to hand, draw a card. That ability triggers only once each turn. And then it has a white and an X to return a land you control to owner's turn, which incidentally triggers the draw card ability. And I can return an artifact or enchantment from the graveyard to the battlefield as a sorcery. So this deck has a lot of what I loved about Yorion, um, just a lot of enchantments and artifacts that you can get extra value from by entering the battlefield multiple times. The worst possible thing I can do is I can get back cards like Solitary Confinement or Island Sanctuary that either make it so I don't take damage or can't be attacked. And I can just sit over here amassing all kinds of value and letting you guys kill each other while I just do my thing of drawing a lot of cards. Sitting I, there. I, I don't have many win cons. Yeah. I just, I, yeah, I just live mm -hmm. in my own bubble. I'm, I'm, I'm bubbling this particular game. Also, cool note, uh, Tameshi Reality Architect has the reality chip in their hand, in the art, and I have the reality chip in this deck. Now this is a legendary artifact creature equipment jellyfish. Wow, this, okay, this yep. is fine. That's great. And uh, when it's equipped to something, I can play lands and spells from the top of my library. So the fun thing to do is like, you have an island sanctuary or solitary confinement. I can't draw any more cards, but I equip the reality chip say to my commander, and then I just start casting stuff off the top of my deck anyway. So hmm. uh, that's what I'm going for. Interesting. Really? You'll love it. You'll oh, love I'm it. I'm excited. Mm. I'm so excited for your pillow of forts. <laughs> ben, tell us about what you're playing today and what's the worst possible thing you're going to do. I'm playing Corvold Fate. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing Fate. <laughs> I'm playing Corvold Faker's King. He is a flying 4-4, four four, and whenever he enters a battlefield or attacks, I sacrifice another permanent, and whenever I sacrifice a permanent, I put a 1-1 one -one counter on him, and I, I, I draw a card. And my wor worst possible thing I can do is either play Breath of Fury, which is an, an aura enchantment, when it's attached to a creature I control, uh, and it does combat damage, I untap all my creatures and I have an additional combat phase. So I can continually do that as long as the creature that it's attached to uh, is doing combat damage. Oh, because it says that when it deals damage, you have to sacrifice the creature. The creature. And then untap all other creatures. And then I attach it. And so each time yeah. you're growing your Corvold, and each time you're drawing more cards, so maybe you have more creatures. Okay. Yeah, so if I have good. a lot of tokens, I can just have as many combat steps as I have creatures. And Corvold gets, gets bigger and bigger and can command Correct. or damage all of us. I, yep. You've got another card there. What's that one do? We'll get I have Revel and Riches as well, which is also an enchantment, just a solid enchantment on Nora. And when a creature and opponent control dies, I create a treasure token. And at the beginning of my upkeep, if I have 10 or more treasures, I win the game. 
<laughs> so I've I've seen and like I've, I've seen and played against people who have Corvold lists with cards like Dockside Extortionist, no. and they just combo off like o bringing them back over and over. This looks like a very different approach on Corvold, yeah. kind of yeah, a I, little I don't even enchantment own, nonsense. I don't even own a Dockside Extortionist, so he's a there hero to go. many yeah. many yeah. people yeah. out there are just Thank like you, gained a new respect for Ben. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? This is the worst possible commander show, but maybe one of the best things is we've had zero Dockside extortionists <laughs> yeah, on camera. Yeah, yeah. And Armageddons. <laughs> no, no Armageddons either. <laughs> All right. Uh, Blake, what's, what have you brought? What is the worst possible thing you're going to do to us this week? I have brought Wizard Tribal. So I'm playing Anala Archmage R Ritualist, which is a Grixis commander. It has eminence. So whenever another non-token wizard enters the battlefield under your control... If it is on the battlefield or in the command zone, I may pay one generic mana. If you do create a, co a token that's a copy of that wizard, it gains haste and you exile at the beginning of the next end step. While it's in play, I can tap five untapped wizards I control to make target player lose seven life. Like, I feel like I want to let this go, but I can't. What did we say about slapping my I face? Know. It just, I'm just, just so angry. Up. I'm just so angry Wait, all the time. Hold on. This is, a, this is a good selling point for the playmat. If you don't like my smug, punchable <laughs> face and you want to just smack me sometimes, you can have the playmat and just straight up. There are five smack CGBs at this table. <laughs> it's a lot of my Which face. Which is a few. Uh, in any case, the worst possible thing I can do is resolve Galecaster Colossus. This is a seven mana, five, six giant wizard. It says, tap an untapped wizard you control, return target non-land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. What? And I make a lot of wizards, and those wizards tend to not die, and I will bounce everything. Cyclonic Rift on bodies? Yeah, it's going to be great. I am excited. I, why does this card exist? I, okay. For my decks. Oh my gosh. It's like Holebreaker Horror Wizard. Yes. It's, okay, that's disgusting. Sorry. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Perfect. Shay. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Returning champ has the belt. She would hold up the belt if we had the belt. Maybe someday we'll have a belt. Maybe someday. You would definitely flex with the belt. <laughs> so you have a very special deck. Tell us about your deck and the worst possible thing it can do to us. Yeah, so today I have a Selesnia Tribal Cat deck um, with Arabo Roar of the World as my commander. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, it's enhanced by the sound effects, really. Um, wow. So this is a five mana drop, and it has eminence. So at the beginning of combat on your turn, if a Rabo Roar of the World is in the command zone or on the battlefield, another target cat you control gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. E. And then it also has, whenever another cat you control attacks, you may pay three. If you do, it gains trample and gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is its power. So, yes, um, I think the worst possible thing this deck can do, I guess at base level, right, I'm going to have lots of cats, lots of synergy between the cats, going to be doing lots of combat damage with that eminence. Um, in addition to that, right, there's some cool anthem effects with Feline Sovereign. So this is a three mana drop. Other cats you control get plus one, plus one, and have protection from dogs. <gasps> I have two dogs. <laughs> well, they better watch out. I, Okay. <laughs> Um, and then also, whenever one or more cats you control deal combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. It's kind of a cool um, little uh, bonus what? there. I've got a few of those. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> yes. And then another kind of anthem effect would be with Door of Destinies, cost four. It's an artifact. As Door of Destinies enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. That would be cat. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, put a charge counter on Door of Destinies. Creatures you control the chosen type get plus one, plus one for each charge counter on Door of Destinies. Make big cats. Make big cats. Well, we saw what you did with vampires. If you do anything like that with cats, we're in trouble. Yes. Well, and this gets uh, especially nasty if I can get Triumph of the Hordes out. Um, so this is a four mana cost uh, sorcery. Until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one and gain trample and infect. Infect? Yes. That makes her like cats with 10. Cats with infect? Poison <laughs> cats. Poisonous cats. That's Poisonous not very cats. empty. It's like, I, I think the flavor is you made all of us allergic to cats, and then you sent the cats to our house. Yes. And we were just <laughs> collapsed dead. Exactly. Oh no, are they sheddy cats? They're very sheddy no. cats. No. They gain shed. Yes. They gain shed. <laughs> plus one, plus one, and shed. 
Yes. Okay, I'm scared of you now. Yeah, I'm too. <laughs> well, guys, are we ready to play this game? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Thank you. All right, roll to see who goes first. We've got our sevens. Boom. Oh, six. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Look at the... Oh. Dude, what? Okay. Dude, it's, <laughs> it's table. Dude, Sorry, it's the gravity. Oh, it's the gravity's yeah. different over here. Yeah. Oh. Mono e mono. Yeah. Five. Oh. 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 oh! It was the table, but it was a six. Another six. Wow. Back to back sixes. Yeah. You're going to win, aren't you? <laughs> I, I hope so. Oh, God. Yeah. How could he be beaten? <laughs> oh, no. All right. Oh, That's yeah. the worst possible for everyone not named <laughs> yeah. Ben at this table. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, uh, it was better for me than if you had won, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ben. Take, okay. take it away. I will draw. I will play a command tower and pass. All right. I will draw for turn. I will play a Temple of Epiphany, tapped, and I will scry one, keep it on top, and pass my turn. Okay. Sun Petal Grove, which will enter tapped, and pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. You guys are all, like, slacking all these this <laughs> land go crap. All right. Flooded Strand, crack it, day one life. As has become tradition on the show, established mana based dominance in the price tag department with a tundra. The best possible land that one could have. I mean, okay, Command Tower is technically better, but the blue white, like. OG. It's a bigger flex, though, to play tundra, so. Damn, All right. Goes away. <laughs> Soul Ring. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Y'all be slacking. Your turn, Ben. Okay. Step up. Five mana turn two. Oh. That's how we do it. I feel like I've seen this before. I know what happens mm -hmm. when you start with this. <laughs> you play a swamp and I will pass. Oh, popping off. <laughs> Draw for turn. And I will play a Felwar Stone. That's the shit. Nice to see somebody else got the ramp mana. Yeah. yeah. I think you're a little ahead yeah. of me, but... Nothing to do but to catch up. Nothing nothing worse than looking scary in front of the, the crazy cat killer over here. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> that sounded bad. It's more like she kills yeah, you she, with cats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm not out here killing cats, so be. She's killing with cats. The ice yeah. cold. Killing alongside It's cats. crazy. Shay showed up on a bobsled pulled by cats today. It was insane. <laughs> It's how I, I get around in the wintertime. I know, I know. It's <laughs> best possible transportation. Yes. They got their little toe beans on. Uh, windswept health. I'm gonna sack it. <laughs> windswept health. <laughs> health. It, oh, Keith. <laughs> I just love that. That's great. I like windswept I'm calling health. it health from now on. Uh, well, you do health. pay a life, you know, so it's... So not that healthy. Not yeah, that healthy. It, yeah. The wind sweeps your health away. That should be the name of the game, the gain land. It's like blossoming sands. It should be wind swept health. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm calling it that from now on. Uh, yeah, I, I'm but I never play it. I only, people play it against me on arena. That's yeah, like, yeah. Like I play against it so much on I arena. I don't peg you as a Selesnia guy very often. I, I keep the green white to a minimum, but that's okay. We've got a green white representation over here. But, yep. But we do. I wonder what I play less of, Boros or Green White. Those are, those have to be the two things I play the least. Mine too, actually. I don't know the answer. Um, so I grabbed a Canopy Vista. It's going to enter tapped, and then I'll pass the draw. Okay. Untap. Draw. We're going to continue to just set the freaking bar with an island and a Teferi's Ageless Insight. If I would draw a card, except for the first one I draw in each of my draw steps, I draw two cards instead. Your turn. I will draw, play a mountain. I will tap three and play a Academy Manufacturer. Manufacturer. Man manufacturer. Manufacturer. <laughs> manufacturer. Man manufacturer. Manufacturer. <laughs> manufacturer. If I would create a clue, food, or treasure token, instead I create one of each. What? Yeah, manufacturer. 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 Dude, that sounds so good in a core world deck. Yeah, but why does that not? Why does that word sound wrong? I know, right? It should no, it be is. manufacturer. It's not yeah. manufacturer. But, but oh it's manufacturer. Manufactor. Yeah. Okay. I need a count I thought, on how I many thought... times we've said manufacturer. <laughs> Okay, I just thought it. I didn't read the card. And I will pass. CGV, what do you do? One, one more three. for the count, manufacturer. Let's go. Uh, 
I'm gonna manufacture some wins here. I'm gonna <laughs> manufacture some card draw. <laughs> Gonna manufacture a shipwreck marsh. Gonna manufacture <laughs> Blake's giggles. <laughs> That's pretty easy to do. <laughs> I will play a Cloudkin Seer. This is a 2 1 flyer wizard. And when it enters the battlefield, I'll draw a card. Sweet. I can't wait to. When it enters the battlefield with the trigger on the stack, I will use an Ola to make a copy of Ooh, Mr. Cloudkin Seer. It just got way more impressive. I know. I'll draw yeah. one card, and then I'll draw one card, and then I will move to combat. CGB. What? It's not a cat, but it'll do. You're attacking me for two? Attack for two in the air. Okay. I'll take two. And then I will move to end step. Uh, and Allah will trigger, and this will die. In response, I have no maximum hand size. I'll allow it. Go ahead, Shay. <laughs> Stifle that. <laughs> that doesn't work. You got a flooded strand. Ooh, it's pretty. Goodness gracious. It's pretty. I don't than know. Mine. Whose mana base is more expensive? <gasps> she out mana based me. <laughs> oh. I apologize for attacking the CGB. She's like, I don't I don't blue white land very much, but when I do, it's more expensive than yours. <laughs> yes. Not gonna offer cut. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, you wanna cut? <laughs> <laughs> We're friendly waiting <laughs> here, Blake. <laughs> I thought I'd throw her off a little. I mean, if you want to. I trust you. Okay. I mean, there's still no cats on the board, so, yeah. I, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. afraid yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid. You just have, like, PTSD. She's, like, been attacking you with rather large amounts <laughs> of creatures. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I grabbed a Temple Garden. It's going to uh, enter tapped. And then I shall tap two. For a Leonin Relic Warder. So when it enters the battlefield, I may exile target artifact or enchantment. When it leaves the battlefield, return exiled card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Well, you have a lot of choices. You have one in, choice. Uh, what to get rid of, you I have, think. You there's have one a, realistic there's a few, choice. There's a few options around the table. And it's definitely the manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to choose? I was kind of thinking slowing you down on your mana. Um... Mana or potentially card draw. Do, 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 do. You don't need to hear from, from you. <laughs> she's she's going to make her own choice here. This is, what is it? Oh, artifact or enchantment. Yeah. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to target the Tefiri. Um, okay. All right. Exiled and we can, we yeah. can rep it that way. Yep. All right. I mean, this just makes me out to be a horrible person, but now I'm coming for that cat. It's just the way it has to be. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, passing the turn. Untap, draw. All you really need is a laser pointer. Very pretty much all set. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Yet another joke that went over the head of whose ever turn it was, dude. <laughs> just... <laughs> What? What? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, here, I, I'm here for the cat jokes. Yeah. That's great. That's what I'm here for. All right. I, I mean, it would be easier for me to, like, just laugh and have fun if it didn't take my fun <laughs> enchantment away. So, right? I mean, this is, go, this is the classic, like, cat situation I have at my house where I have the cool thing that I'm happy about and I come back later, can't find it, where'd it go? Yeah. Who took it? <laughs> yeah, you Lane know who. Just knocks it off the counter. It's the freaking cat every time. One white. I'm going to play Al Seed of Life's Bounty. This is a 1-1 one, one lifelink enchantment creature. I can sacrifice it to gain for a creature and enchantment. I control to gain protection from a color of my choice until end of the turn. I'm going to pay three life and lightning bolt myself to play Seagate Reborn. So it's just like a three life blue source. I'm going to tap my five awesome mana that I have that you guys don't for now. <laughs> and I'm going to play Behold the Unspeakable. This is a new saga from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Chapter one, creatures you don't control get minus two minus zero until your next turn. Chapter two, if I have one or fewer cards in hand, I draw four cards. Otherwise I scry two, then draw two cards. In chapter three, I exile this and return it. And I believe it's like a zero zero flying trample with power and toughness equal to cards in my hand. Okay, zero zero flying trample. It gets plus one, plus one for each card in my hand. Yep, pretty good, pretty good. I got my knowledge. All right, y'all get, get fought like the minus twos. 
Three All you got zero power. Yeah, yeah minus your turn. One, <laughs> three. I'm like minus boo. I will untap. Oh. I will draw a card. I will tap three. I will play a treacherous blessing. <clears throat> when it enters the battlefield, I draw three, and whenever I cast a spell, I lose one life. If it's the target of a spell or ability, I sack it. Pros. I will draw three mm -hmm. cards. Three hot cards coming right up. And none of them are what I want. I will play Swamp for turn. <laughs> Does it? And do you I also will... get angry when other people draw more cards than you? Every time. Yeah, me too. I have a jealousy problem. And yeah, I will go to That's my end step. That's why I target you so much. Fair. <laughs> I will go to my end step and discard a card. Oh, you don't have a thought vessel? You should have a thought vessel, man. You should well, try this. This is a card I want to discard. Ron. <gasps> Boom. Yes. The tech oh my gosh. Gosh. I can I see the future. I do not have future. a forest yet. Oh. But if I did, my creatures would have trample now. Nice. Your turn. Blake. You're looking brawny today, Ben. Yeah. Oh my, thank you. <laughs> Straight that, that's a. That's a. I'm like prodding you for the flex for the camera. And... Oh yeah. Ah, yeah, see what <laughs> I'm talking that. about. Woo -hoo! Wow. <laughs> Let me get that number. I, yeah. I'm going to play Lava Glide Pathway. Late contemplation. It starts with. Move up the glasses. Yep, yep. Chapter two. Give the finger to other players at the table. <laughs> <laughs> Counting lands. Back to the glasses. I'm just like the classic anime, like. Yeah. Part three, Reign of Terror. What are you going to do? About to reign some terror. I will play one of my favorite cards in Magic. Nightscape Familiar. This is two mana for a 1-1. One, one. And blue and red spells I cast cost one less to play, and I can play pay black and a generic to regenerate it. Psycho Tog. It oh, was a staple in Psychotog. So I love that card. I will then play Harmonic Prodigy. This is a 1-3 with prowess. That costs one less because of Nightscape Familiar. Uh, if an ability of a shaman or another wizard you control triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. Move to end step. Fast turn. All right. Aaron Mesa. Okay. Fetch land <laughs> tribal over here. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's Thank God no Felidar Sovereign or uh, Felidar Creek. Maybe not yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be running low on fetch lanes now. Gonna go get Mountain Earth I mean, you can have 10, right? True. 20 if you include the ones that are undertapped. And then you can have Prismatic Vista, so 11. Oh, that's a lot of juice. That is. That's a lot of juice. Hey, Blake, you wanna cut? <laughs> I'll do this cut. I'll do the devil cut. Wow. Thank you okay. for offering, I appreciate mm -hmm. that. I grabbed a very pretty planes. Tap in three, four, <gasps> prowling serp apart. So that's problematic. It can't be countered. Creature spells you control can't be countered. Hmm, seems fine. <laughs> I'm cool with it. It's a cat snake. Who doesn't like a good cat snake? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Slippery is that little four three? snakey snake. Yeah, it it's is a four three. Yes. Four, three. It's yeah. a four three. It punches above its cat snake weight class. <laughs> it is the king yeah. of all cat snakes. Did I mention your sweater is really cool? <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Um, <clears throat> all right, I will swing with Leon and Relic Warder at CGB. And at the start of combat, yes. it gets plus three, plus three? Correct. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Three, two. Three, five. Three, five. Thank you. Yep. I'll take the bump. Okay. I'll pass the turn. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Chapter two. So I have three cards in my hand, so I'm going to scry two, then draw two cards. What does that do? What does this do with what? How do these cards work? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know anything right now. All right, one to the bottom. You ever just draw, you ever just like scry and be like, how'd that get in my deck? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, draw two. I will use Soul Ring to cast Azoria Signet. I'm not sure you can I will tap Thought Vessel, tap Azoria Signet for a white and a blue, tap this for a white, so I have one blue in the mana pool. I'll cast Knight of the White Orchid, search my library for a planes, put it on the battlefield. It can be a non-basic planes, but we're just, we're going to get a basic planes here. Oh, it's like you already have your Tundra or something. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> like I already have enough blue from these sources. So I'll also get a nice shiny Kamigawa. 
range. I have the one floating, so I'm going to use that one floating along with three others. I'm going to cast Thassa, the Deep Dwelling. This, uh, as long as my devotion to blue is less than five, it isn't a creature. At the beginning of my end step, I exile up to one other creature I control, then return it to the battlefield under my control. But none of you have five lands, right? So I'm not going to get another land off my knight. Oh, right no. Now, which is very discouraging and distressing. But I will... Is there anybody who doesn't have a blocker? No? You guys are lame. I can't even sneak in to get a life <laughs> you know and untap what? it. I won't block. You But remember this forward. You know what? I'm not in I'm not into cheap token gestures that <laughs> I have to then pay you back for later. Did you, you want a token gesture or <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm I'm just gonna move to end step and fizzle my blink trigger. Go ahead. We'll untap. We'll draw. Play a swamp. We'll tap two. Whoa. <laughs> that <laughs> landed now on the tap. It has a mind of its own. That's I will play it's... an arcane signal, and I will lose a life. Okay. From the treacherous. You can blessing. leave him alone. He's going to take himself yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 39 like spells this. away from Let's death. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to tap arcane for a green, green. Play a Yavamaya Elder. Everyone cool card. No, that card pretty much. And I will lose another Dang life. Dang it. I missed. <laughs> I thought he played a Windswept Health. That's why. Come on. <laughs> and I, I will just pass. <laughs> Perfect. I think it's an understandable misread. I just get confused. <laughs> it, it's definitely fair. That's why I messed up the Sanctum of All Things, because I actually can't read. That's the secret. <laughs> you know how they say read the card? That's hard to do. It is. I don't, I don't know why they think that that's just a solution to everything. Read that's the card. That's what I'm saying. RTFC. It's like, have you ever, like, if you try reading these things, it's not like a good book. <laughs> Stephen, no. Stephen King didn't write these. What I write is gross, vulgar, and that it's really terrible. Go, woo! Like, th there's no flow. There, the plot is all over the place. I don't know where it's going to go. The twists and turns are yeah, ridiculous. I don't feel like there's much character progression. I'm going to attack you with a clutch can see for two. Me? <laughs> oh, there you go. I will take the two. Perfect. See, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All about character progression past the turn. Okay. How much mana do you have open? Like six. Too much. And exactly. a cost reduction from Nightscape Familiar? Yeah, I'm oh, sure. Oh, I do. I'm sure this is fine. <laughs> I'm, oh, sh I'm sure this is fine. Oh, wait. What? Cardi introduced at the beginning. Well, that costs that seven. That costs seven, but it's reduced. Doesn't have flash. Yeah, but... Probably would have played it here if I had it. Maybe yeah, Maybe. Okay. I don't have it, and I'm flat, passing the turn to Shay. Reason. Yeah, Shay, go ahead. Kill him. Kill him, Shay. <laughs> he's, he's very scary. Kill I did him. nothing. <laughs> That's what's scary about him. Yeah. I know. I'm a blue mage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? Maybe I just... I have one. Maybe I'm flooded. Yeah. I'm not scary. I use my mana on my turn. The thing about threat assessment of blue is it's in the hand. You oh, know, it's yeah. not on the board. So oh, that's yeah. where blue mages skate by in commander for a long time. Because if you don't have like keen threat tingly senses, like Spider-Man. Ooh, my spider sense is tingling. <gasps> if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You don't know what's going on, but I know if a blue mage is like, I got five cards and I got all this untapped mana, something bad is gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Man's never let a blue mage pass turn untapped. No, no, Spider Man understands. With great power comes great responsibility. Bit unsettling. But your critters can't be countered. Yeah. 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 Tapping one for a shadow sphere. <laughs> that's, quiver. That, I, quiver. I, know, oh. I know that card. That's a good one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll pay two to equip it to Prowling Circa Pard. Five four life link. Trample. Yep. With that, I will go to combat. I'm scared of that man over there. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Which one? Just all oh. this mana. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm flooded. 
In five lands. Got nothing to do. Five lands. Nothing to do. Man. Five lands. Yeah. And on a film. Five lands. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, Blake. I'm scared, but I'm going for it. So, um, Just remember, you provoked me. Yeah. Okay, at the beginning of combat, Eminence trigger here to give plus three, plus three to Prowling Serpent Bard, and I am going to attack Blake. Blake! Okay. This guy? Yeah. Eight, seven, trample, lifelink coming at you. Yes. I'll attack four. Yeah. I will cast Harbinger of the Tides. Mm -hmm. I may pay two additional mana. If I do, uh, I can cast it with Flash. When it enters the battlefield, you may return target tap creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. I will, in fact, target... My Prowling Serpapard. Your Serpapard. Serpapard. That makes sense. I will not trigger an owl. Okay, so four lands in hand. Uh -huh. And the Harbinger uh -huh. pad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just totally believable. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any other uh, stuff you want to do? Uh, no. That is... Could, you could leave yeah. up the two mana and move the spear. I, I think guess. I am actually going to move the spear. I'm going to pay two and equip it to my Leonin relic board. He's hoarding all the relics, dude. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. And tick. So this is going to exile on chapter three. And then return to the battlefield as the vision of the unspeakable. Oh my gosh. Where if we were not the worst possible commander show, there would be animation of a vision of the unspeakable. It's, it's like a cool name for a just kind of okay creature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a zero zero flying trample with uh, power and toughness equal number of cards in my hand, which is currently three. Yeah. So it's fine. This is fine. It also has summoning sickness because it left the battlefield. I have all this mana and I don't have much to do, and I don't even have stuff in my graveyard for Tameshi to get back. Oh, so man. my deck is kind of chilling at this point. Chilling like a villain. It doesn't feel like I can do very much. So I'm just going to play a few things. Um, I'm going to cast Seal of Cleansing which is an enchantment I can sacrifice to destroy target artifact or enchantment. So, resolve? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to suspend Soul Talisman, and this is a suspend one, suspend th that has three time counters, and eventually I get another Soul Ring. So much mana. If I had a way to discard it, that would have been sweet, because you can bring it right back yeah. with Tameshi, but I don't. Oh, right. I still don't... Nobody's leaving me a chance to just blink, like, <laughs> po poke them with the Owl Seed of Life's Bounty, which is very tilting. This time, I'll just be a nice guy and have no strings attached. I, no, I, I'm, I'm still not taking that kind of a freebie. You're, you're, you're too sweet to me. He's too smart. I can't take He's it. I, I'll get... Like, you'll, you'll like, later be like, hey, remember that thing? Well, now you can't, you shouldn't make this game-winning play against me. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, Sounds guilt. like me. Sounds guilt like me. It's weaponized guilt. Don't fall for it in your play group. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to just move to end step. I'm going to trigger Thassa Deep Dwelling. I'm going to target the Vision of the Unspeakable. It's going to exile, then return to the battlefield, but it returns on the front side. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, Snap. And that's going to give, because it comes in on chapter one, it's going to give all creatures I don't control minus two minus oh until my next turn. And I'm done. Okay. I will untap. I will draw a card, a singular card. All the single cards. All the single cards. I put your hands up. If you like it, then you can put a sleeve on it. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> I will tap two green and four. That was good. Play cool stuff. Ink.com has all the single cards. All mm -hmm. the single cards. All the single cards. The trample all six. six. Take one to trick this blessing. I got you, buddy. What's this thing do? Uh, whenever a oh. land enters, I create a 4-4 four, four beast, green beast creature token. Oh, that's a classic. A it is a classic. I have not yet. Interesting. And then I will play a swamp. And then I will get a 4 4 beast creature token. Boom. I will pass.
I'll play an island. I will tap four. And I will cast Riptide Director. This is a 2-3 wizard for four mana. It has four and tap it to draw a card for each wizard I control. Actually, I pay one less because of Nightscape Familiar. Wait, what? Thanks, Nightscape Familiar. Is it Familiar. a wizard? Yes. So you make another? I'm about to. Man, it's haste? I'm about to. I mean, the haste does almost nothing because I can't activate it this turn. Because it costs... Did I miss why the seer is still there? Okay, I did it. Cool. All right, proceed, sorry. I will make a copy of Rip Riptide Director. Seems good. I will then move to combat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Shay, I will attack you with a 2-3. Oh, does it get minus... Can I... Does Behold the Unspeakable oh. stop? Is it a all creatures at the time of playing or all my creatures? It's at the time I play it. So your creature is okay. currently a 2-3. A 2-3. Two, two, three. Three, and her creature is currently a 1-3. She has a shadow yes, spear. Yes, 1-3. Yep. Yeah. In that case, that's fair. Yeah, you'd just be bouncing with her and giving her a life. You yeah. know what? Sure. Bounce with me, bounce with me. <laughs> I'd like to form an alliance. <laughs> Would you like to gain a life? For one life, don't t don't for do it. One life, what did I tell you? You? you can't you can't let him if use guilt block, as a weapon. If you block, <laughs> no. <laughs> if you block, you're taking my generosity. Uh, no, or I can just block and get the benefit of. Yeah, because I let you, and therefore you. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that is not how that works. That map tracks for your boy. Not, that is not her fault. No, no. <laughs> Well, let's see what decision she makes. Shay, I'm going to alleviate you of this decision. I'm going to tap your card <laughs> so it hits you, so you don't, you can't get guilted. It wasn't your fault. Hold on, hold what on. What is happening? <laughs> um, all right, you, you successfully played around me. So I tapped this with Thassa. Okay. So I, trust me, I don't want you to live with that guilt. <laughs> he uses it against you. Yeah. I'm saving you from an energy vampire situation. Oh my gosh. This is for your own good, Shay. Wow. <laughs> Just call me cordial. You guys are in rare form today. This is... Uh, Shay, by the way, you actually take two. Right. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then I will move to my end step. You're welcome. In which case, <laughs> this Thank will you die. So much. I don't know Just what I would have done Just playing around me. <laughs> Past the turn. Okay. It could have been foolish because if she attacks me now, it's very bad. But you know, it's, it's what I'm kind of here for, which is nonsense. It's only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Path of ancestry enters tapped. Okay, so now I, I always forget with that card because there's like two commander lands that yeah. are like really common. That's the creature. scry one. Yep. Um, yep. So add to your mana pool one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. When that mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, scry one. I should definitely know that one by yeah. now, but it's I, a hard I feel one. Like, I feel like Opal Palace is worse. Yeah. At least if it's not a tribal, right? Or if it's I, I, I agree. I would agree. I would suggest that if or if not a tribal deck, Opal Pal is totally worse. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not trolling I'll at all. I'll check your math. <laughs> I'm not trolling even a little. Okay. Tap in three, four, Harold's Horn. What creature type would you like to choose? Yes. Uh, I would like to choose Cat. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, creature spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature card of the chosen type, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. Cool. Yeah, and then I'm going to only pay two for my prowling serpapard. 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 Oh my god. Do you think it makes, like, just a regular hiss sound, or is it like a cat hiss or a yeah, snake hiss? Yes. It's, like, mm. it's like the, the convergence of a hissing creature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is perfect. That's ideal. Is that, is that a good example? Yes. That was ideal. Yeah. yeah. I think you, was ideal. you know what, Ben? You nailed it. Thank you. Yeah. You are the serpent part now. <laughs> you are one with the serpent part. You get plus one, plus one from Harold's horn. <laughs> Oh, wait. Is that how that works? Nope. No. Oh, okay. That's all right. I don't know how cards work. <laughs> I don't play tribal decks. I say playing a tribal deck. Um, yeah, so it just makes it so it costs less. I would like some more. 
It's only one, right? Oh, but this, yeah, right. All it is three. Well, it's one until yeah, she, the until eminence. I, oh, right. Until I buff yeah, it. Yeah, until yeah, em, <laughs> like, none of the cats hit for one. Right. Yeah, no. Right. Yeah. All right. So at the beginning of combat, eminence triggers. I'm going to give the plus three to my Leonin Relic Warder. Um, and then I will attack CGB. Too many cards. <laughs> Funny little note is that this never actually taps. Oh, okay. It's kind of weird, but yeah, oh, okay. true. All right, so it has a minus two, minus O, oh, then a plus from the Shadow Spear, and then plus three, so it's four. Four, yep. Okay. I can't wait for the chain link of cards. <laughs> I'll take the four. <laughs> Relic order will be... One, two, three, four. Passing the turn. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Tick. I wish I could skip my draw, because then I get to draw four, because you have to have one or fewer. Yeah. But it's so hard to get the last chapter. It has it's to be so like hard. Your last yeah. card. Ah, draw. If it were an instant, I could play it, but it's not. All right. So this goes off. Scry two, draw two. I'll take those. We don't need no bottoms. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I say? Blake, this is a family-friendly show. <laughs> no bottoms allowed. Let's go. <laughs> Bottomless beverages. That's what I'm into. All right. So we got more Saga Tribal happening with Inventive Iteration. Uh, the chapter one, if this resolves, is return up to one target creature or planeswalker to its owner's hand. Chapter two is which will return an artifact card from graveyard to hand if I can't draw a card. Currently I have no artifacts down there. And then chapter three is I get a 3-3 three, three with some other texties stuff. Flying 3-3 three, three whenever you cast a spell. Opponents can't cast spells with the same mana value as that spell. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. That is weird. Anyway, does will, it resolve? I will pass priority. Yeah, I told him float it. Flooded. You're floating. I'm floated. <laughs> Go on. Float too. Yo, will do. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this enters the battlefield. I'm going to return your Leonin Relic Warder to your hand okay. for striking me. And because I might want this. I was going to say, and back. you also get a good card, but. <laughs> no. Fairy's Angel's Insight returns home. Guys, we do have a oh, serious no. problem of Don't rampaging bailouts in the other mind. I, for, I keep forgetting that big green creatures matter. Oh! No sick burn, bro! Sick burn! They so, really don't. It's, it's no big deal. Which, by the way, the um, I have actually turned on Thassa with getting this back. Oh, snap. So I have a 6 5 indestructible. And I will. Indestructible. You have six lands on the battlefield? Good, 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 good. I'm going to cast Solemn Simulacrum. Sad robot, go Sad fetch a land. <laughs> I'm going to move to my end step and I'm going to uh, blink Knight of the White Orchid to go get an untapped uh, plains, but it's gonna be a prairie stream. And then Solemn's gonna get a tap land. And I can do that because you have six lands. And I only have four. And then I'm done. Okay. Yeah, but fun turn. We'll play a Blighted Woodland. Make a beast. Did yeah, I mention I really like your shirt, by the way? Thanks. On a different note. <laughs> Actually, a little stained. Don't. This one. Don't. It's the guild. <laughs> <laughs> making you feel. Making so you feel good things about him. Play the Blighted Woodland. <laughs> I will tap two Swampies. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Swampies will, are tapped. So I will sacrifice the Yavamai Elder. Would, it, would you say it's Yavamai? No. Two, okay. two Swampies, sack the Yavamai. The card, and then I will search for a forest foresty. and a mountain. <laughs> Reveal them and put them in my hand. I'm still looking for a prairie stream. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> there might be a problem. Reveal I swear that. it was in the Reveal stack. That. The forest and mountain, put them in my hand. I can't find this prairie stream. Oh, no. It's in his hand. <laughs> it's not. I just looked. 
the plains of defeat. <laughs> I've been there. It wasn't supposed to be like this. For my next play, I will tap the command tower for a green. I will play a crop rotation. And I will sacrifice a swamp. Yep, 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 that. I will sacrifice a swamp, lose a life from Treasure's Blessing, and search for a just a land and put it on the battlefield and then shuffle. If you find a prairie stream, I'm going <laughs> to do that. Then we know how it got there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will, it's in a weirdly different sleeve. <laughs> I will get this very interesting land. I will put it on the battlefield. It is a Deragav's Caldera. <laughs> when I put, of course. It is a layer, whatever that is, in addition <laughs> to its other land type. And whenever it comes into play, I sacrifice it unless I return a non layer land I control to my hand, which is all my other land. I will return a swamp to my hand. And it taps for a jund. And it taps for jund, and it does not enter tapped, which is Strange. dope. That is dope. I know. Oh my cool. goodness. You know how jealous I am right now. I, I'm mad. I don't have to mesh on the battlefield. I would have drawn a card. I would have drawn two cards. Yeah, actually. <laughs> and because that is another land entering, I make another beast decoy. They're back from vacation. <laughs> yeah. It's the Beastie Boys. No sleep till. <laughs> Brooklyn. 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 Where is Brooklyn at? Manufacturer. <laughs> is that a... Is your counter... Your, your snake cat? <laughs> is it, does it have Hexproof or Shroud right now? It does not, no. An interesting question. Go mm -hmm. on. Yeah, I was just... <laughs> just a chilling just for a second. Yeah, well, I, I you got a lot going on over there, CGB. Nothing's happening. I don't nothing's know what you're worried happening. about. Nothing's happening. So you don't this, have... It's a, not a lot of... It's a lot of mostly nothing, to be honest. But it all adds up to a lot. Hopefully. Someday. Yeah. <laughs> I will go to combat. I'll attack six at Blake and four at Shay. Oh, it's beautiful choices. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Hmm. Uh, no blocks. I'll take six. Yep, no blocks. Go to my second main phase. Attacking, of course. Um, and I will tap one, two, three, four, five, being green, and play my commander. It's, it's on the stack. Oh, on the stack? Whoa. On I'm going to stack. I actually am flooded. Resolves. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will, I will lose one life from casting it. Well done. And I will sacrifice the Treacherous Blessing. Good choice. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on him and draw a card. Mm. That is a gross card. I mean, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and I will, <laughs> I will pass the turn. All right. I think you can hopefully cure your flooding with that. Mr. Reddit. Riptide Director? Riptide Director? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. The, the director actually managed to live and it has drawn I can't card believe on it. It let, you guys let it live. That's I really know. cool. I actually forgot about that. Okay, I'm going to tap four and activate Riptide Director, which will draw me four cards. Okay. Cool beans. No response. Cool, cool beans. Four kind of freaking beans. cards. Uh, I forgot to discard in my last turn, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. I will discard a swamp. Oh. Perfect. I will then tap my two more mana for a sky diamond. And I'll move to my combat. And then I'll end my turn. Okay. That's a little sus. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I think having this back to defend against your onslaught <laughs> is better than. Uh, that's a heck of a board going on, Baylock. Master, yeah. Beast Master Ben. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> He's got like a falcon dude. He just that's sick. Oh, oh my upkeep, upkeep trigger. Upkeep trigger. Yes, so I can stride. I'm gonna keep this here, so I will draw. Okay. Yeah. So at the beginning of upkeep, look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, oh, if it's a creature card of the chosen type, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. It was not a creature. Okay. Okay. But you like it. But and, I like it. And we're going to do the thing. We're doing, yeah. yeah. I got it now. Yeah, we don't get to put it on the bottom with the horn, right? Nope. No, right. it's not okay. a scry, yeah. Got it. Yeah. My mistake. Okay. 
tap into. For a stalking Leona. When it enters the battlefield, secretly choose an opponent. Ooh, secretly. Yes. Write it down. Well, yes. Yo, that's Something. every character I ever played in Skyrim, which oh, is like the cat people <laughs> with the bow. Yeah, okay, okay, what else? What I like else? that. Yes, what yes, else? yes. Um, so, later on, reveal the player you chose. Exile target creature that's attacking you. If it's controlled by the chosen player, activate this ability only once. So do you have to, like, write it down on a... Yeah, there it is. Yes. So that is... For dramatic All right. We... Dramatic. Yep. Keep, Wait, what is it? We can't I'm see. Sorry, what does it do also, Shay, when she reveals it? You're a cool that. person. Also, Shay, I just want you to know that you get to scry for casting that because I'm full of useful, helpful information. <laughs> yeah, I know also, he tapped your creature, preventing you from getting the light. That was a <laughs> content play, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do when she reveals it? I took four damage uh, to make yeah, that play. Yeah. <laughs> I can exile an attacking creature so. that, that the person I chose oh, yeah. controls. What's, what's fun about it is the mind games, because mm. we don't know who she's going right. to choose. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I know who I would choose. I know who I would I, choose. I'm disappointed in my thought process. <laughs> choose yourself, Shay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make it work. Oh, us. my gosh. Mm. No, I, I know. It's the bachelorette. Everybody back off. Let yeah, her choose. Yeah. Let her choose. We have different strategies. Can you hear draw he's, rose? He's gonna do yeah. all the he's gonna do all the compliments. He's gonna be all confidence and I'm gonna follow your heart. You follow know? your, follow your heart. heart. As long as you're following the, hearts, diversity. choose his back. We actually don't want the rose in this case, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Rose yeah. is your creature is dead. Yeah. yeah. Exiled, right? Exiled. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. It's crazy that you can like hear me right now. That sounded like a bee. <laughs> Could have been a D, I know. to be honest. Yeah. Well, did it sound like two bombs? Actually, or there's one? we all have B. In oh, yeah, you have a B, too. <laughs> right. Your name's not the Blake. whole time. Your, your name's not Blake, it's Blake. Yeah, I forgot sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fold this. And um, could you fold it into like an origami crane of some type? No, just no. <laughs> don't, don't take the time. Please don't. Okay, we're folding, and I'm just gonna maybe put it back in. Okay. Far away. Uh, way off reach. camera. Just, way. just remember you have it. Yes. <laughs> what was the point of folding it then? Extra secrecy. All right, yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Scry? Scrying. Cool. I'm going to tap two and equip my Shadow Spear. Okay. Giving it plus one. Plus Sound one. effect? All right. Uh, I, don't, I don't have one for that one. No, you did. It's the cat's <laughs> meow. Oh, right, right. What was this? <laughs> it was a. Smeow. <laughs> yep. I've owned a lot of cats in my life. And Same. actually, a couple snakes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Did have they, they ever. Along? I was going to say, did they get along well, really well? Did they ever uh, get, did they get along, along that much? well? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get along that well. Okay, no, they no, didn't no. ever make your creatures uncounterable? That's <laughs> no, no. Or like a hybrid between the two? No. That would be <laughs> horrifying. Yeah. Are you sure? It's like the cutest thing, the most you like, can't tell for slithery sure. thing. Uh, I can. love cats. Cats are the best. Yeah, cats, they're you they're better cat? than dogs. You're cool. Just so Damn. Yeah. Nope. I, nope. I did that. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Strictly wrong. Well, you just, villain, you so. just alienated 48.3% of the population. Yeah, right. Wait, how many how many of your viewers like dogs over cats? All of them like dogs more because they have no. great taste and sensibility. They are the <laughs> smartest viewing community on the internet, and smart people with taste love dogs more. You just alienated forty eight point three percent of the population. Can we yeah, let's do this? Oh, yes. Okay. Entering into combat, the beginning of combat, eminence triggers. It's going to give my prowling serp card plus three plus three. I would like to attack Ben. Yeah. What what is it? So it would be an eight seven trample lifelink. Eight seven. See no you. trample lifelink? Tra no trample lifelink. No death touch. <laughs> no death like, touch. Oh yeah. I'm gonna actually double block it with my summoning sick piece. <gasps> Forgot about your summoning yeah. sick pieces. Nice. Ooh. That's not good. Yeah, that sucks. But you'll gain eight life. I mean, yeah, there you I go. Will. 
Well, the beast had to die somehow. Yeah. Or they yeah. were going to hit someone. I really yeah. just didn't even see them hanging out over there. Yeah, they're, they're just chilling in the yep. corner. Fair Not anymore. <laughs> they're Not anymore. anymore. Yeah, they're Fair dead. enough. Yeah, now they're I will for Oof. once be sad of, like, actually about dating a life who wasn't worth it. My cat snake. <laughs> yeah, not my cat snake. You. Okay, that really sucked. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Untap, upkeep, tick. Soul Talisman is only one turn away, and then I'll have two more mana. Another soul ring. Just yep, like another soul ring. Draw. Trigger the sagas. So, chapter three Exile Return as the Vision of the Unspeakable. <laughs> and chapter two Return an artifact from graveyard to hand. I can't. So I draw a card, but I draw two because it's Fairy's Angel's Insight. We need that Relic Order back. Yeah. Why do you... uh, yeah. <laughs> what to do with all these? First of all, we'll continue to support the best, the bestest tribe with a loyal Warhound. So oh. I now have a creature dog. It's a 3-1 mm -hmm. with Vigilance, and I can search for a basic planes and put on the battlefield tap because you have seven lands and I have six. Thigh map tracks. <laughs> Dude, I'm calling her right now. Shay's going to be under the radar until suddenly yeah. one turn she plays like 38 creatures, and then yeah. we get triumphed. Oh, that'd be, yeah. Nobody fears the cats until they make your life a living hell somehow. Until they equip yeah. poison daggers, and you're like, <laughs> oh, that's oh, right. Crap. That is... <laughs> That would be possible. But right now she only has one cat. I just, I can't I'm just get saying. scared, you know? I'm afraid. Yeah. Only has one cat. All right, so for the first time this game, we're going to use three mana to bring out Tameshi, the reality architect, who's going to join this crazy board of nonsense that I have. And Tameshi can, can read. I can bounce a land, and then um, I can get an artifact or enchantment with a mana value back from the graveyard. So, I don't have anything down there yet, but I'm going to work on that. I'm going to sacrifice Seal of Cleansing to destroy Academy Manufacturer because its name offends me. That's fair. <laughs> Storm count on that name's at like 30. Yeah. So, blowing it up. It will die. Okay. Ha ha ha! Then I will... One <laughs> white... <Don't you> ever. <laughs> <laughs> Colorless. I'm going to activate Tameshi Rally Architect, targeting Seal of Cleansing. To do that, I have to return a land as part of the cost. I'm going to return the Seagate Reborn to my hand, nice. which is also a spell <laughs> that I might Tricky. cast sometime. Trigger this, draw two cards, and bring back Seal of Cleansing. That doesn't put it on the stack, right? No, no. Uh, the ability goes on the stack if you mean yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, but the, the whatever you're getting back does not. Correct. Cool. I still have a land drop for turn because this land I got from the Warhound. Mm -hmm. So I will, let's see. Actually, I'm going to play a, no, I'm not. I'm going to play a Castle Vantress and move to end. Well, I could combat. How big is your, your core hold? Five five flyer. Five five flyer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's tango with the uh, Thassa Deep Dwelling. I'm gonna attack you with a six five indestructible god, Ben. It comes for you. Bow to your deity. <laughs> yeah, I'll take six. Then I'll move to end step. Thassa is gonna target something. Hey, we're 27 buddies. Yep. We are 27 buddies. <laughs> that's why I did that, really. I yeah. just wanted to, Yeah, that's what I was absolutely going for. Yeah, of course. So I have seven lands. You have seven lands. So I can't hit an extra land here. I guess I'll just... I could flip this again, but I kind of like it because right now it's a... It, it, went, yeah. it got big really fast. It's a 6-6 six, six right now. That's I'm going to... Flyer Trampler, right? I'm going to flicker the Solemn. Yeah, it does have Flying and Trample. I'm going to flicker Sad Robot. Go get a land. Your turn, Ben. 
We're gonna start dealing with this guy soon. Yeah. This is fine. I'm gonna I've that. heard that before. It's a little bit of value, no big deal. I'm draw a card. A little bit of value a lot of times turns okay. into a lot of value. The wisest thing I've ever said. I will play, look at that, a forest. My creature's now trampled because <clears throat> Brawn is in the graveyard. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> that those details oh matter. Oh gosh! Seriously. Yes, they do. <laughs> On this show, just, we remember yes. those yeah, details. I'm just, I'm just too soon. Letting people know, and I will tap one, two, three, one, yeah, one, two, three, four, for a blood for bones. Oh, and I will also make a beast from that. I'm sorry. There I'll you go. Cast a blood for bones. I will so, sack that beast for the blood for Smooth. Bones. What's your the target? One, and my targets are the one from the graveyard to the battlefield will be the <laughs> Academy Manufactor. Uh, don't make me cleanse it again. From the uh, No, it's just one target. No, it's, and then return another creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Yep. One's a target again. Okay, you're good. And you're that dead. one oh wait. The, do I I reveal because this is my graveyard? That will go back. Oh, nice. And it, you sacrificed a beast, so I did. that triggers Corvold. It will, yeah. You will get a counter, and I will draw a card. And I will play a Sculptor, Sculptport Merchant. And he Ooh. comes in with a treasure, but because I have him in play, I get a clue and a food as well. Whoa. No! Whoa. Too First strong. time it's ever happened, in fact. <laughs> that is the best is Sculptport result? Merchant. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. We got a clue. We got a clue. We got a treasure. And a treasure. No blues clues this time, though. <laughs> Thank you for referencing my amazing joke. That yeah, was that... underappreciated. <laughs> except for you nice. folks at home. Appreciate you. Oh, and here's my food. Wait. Always remind and these people that I'm My food. Here, that they give me credit for. That's so cool. That was yeah, good. that's it. I should have I should have blown that uh Manufacture up again, but I honestly wanted to see the greatest Skullport merchant of all time. I really did. <laughs> Fair. I will go to combat. This is summoning sick, and this is summoning sick. It's actually summoning sick beast, so that one is fine. Two attack. I'll go to attack. Did I say that already? <laughs> We've been to combat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. been to attack. Um, when does the turny sideways part come? Right. Um... That's the official name for that step of the combat phase. I will attack Corvold at Blake. And I will swing a beast at CGP. I have a 6-6 six, six flyer. You do, darling. I'll swing the beast also at Blake. And on attacks, Corvold will get a counter, and I will sacrifice the food and draw a killer. A card. <clears throat> no blocks. Ooh. And seven commander? Seven, seven commander. I will go to NSF and pass. Alright. I will untap. I will proceed to upkeep and then I will proceed to draw. Was it another land? Uh, <laughs> it actually wasn't, though. Don't forget. Don't forget to slam it right on the CGB face, you know, when you're particularly. Yeah. You know what? I'm about to slam this card on the CGB face, actually. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> That's okay. That's sick. Overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Sorry. Hold on. Overloaded Cyclonic Rift. For only six, because of Nightscape for me. Oh. Oh no. Fierce board states. guardianship. Counter it. I control my commander, so I pay zero. Negate. Negate! Negate! <laughs> Me? Counter spells! Okay. <laughs> well, that's on the stack. Yeah. Um. I got stuff too. Hmm. Okay, so you would go first, right? 
I, I okay, so um, the negate resolves, and now this is back yep. and going around in priority. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Top of the stack. For straight up spite, seal of cleanse your Thalwar stone. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Tap it for a blue. Okay, that re happened. Sure. Okay, your, your move right. with a, with Cyclonic Rift back on the stack. I'll just sacrifice a treasure for a, just like any color, I don't care what. That triggers Corvold. And it will trigger, trigger Corvold. I'm going to counter and I'll drop it. And then, um, well, with that floating, I'll tap one more and sacrifice the clue to draw, get a counter on Corvold, draw two cards from the clue and from Corvold. Feels good. <laughs> and? And that is it for me. Pick him up. Cool beans. <laughs> well, that up. worked out. <laughs> Beastie goes away. Bye -bye. Um, blue floating. I'll let that dissipate as I move to combat. My soul talisman is still just suspended when people wonder how there's still a non-land permanent sitting yeah. on my playmat. <laughs> I need a oh thought vessel, Where is the guys. thought vessel, bro? It is in there somewhere. <laughs> but is it on top? I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, no max hand size. I, I kind of play letting it resolve because oh, no max oh, hand size is a your, thing that I do. Your, I do. <laughs> But don't remind him. He might. I just me. did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is fine. <laughs> I'll move to combat. Yeah. I know how jealousy gets of card draw. I have no chance. <laughs> Due to card draw jealousy, CDJ, as it's known, <laughs> I will attack CGB for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll not forget this, Blake. Let me I check don't. my hand here. Let it burn into your mind. Instant speed things to do to you. Okay, uh, eight. I'm down to 19. Go ahead. Oh, wowzers. That was a wowzers. It was. Three for a Herald's Horn. Cat. Oh. Chosen creature type. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes, it does. Tapping three for an armored sky hunter. So this is flying. It's a cat knight, which is very cool. Um, whenever armored sky hunter attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You might put an aura or equipment card from among them onto the battlefield. And if, it, in, if an equipment is put onto the battlefield this way, you may attach it to a creature you control. Put the rest of those cards in the bottom of your library in any random order. Jeez. Okay. Do the thing. Do the thing. Oh, it's when it attacks. Yes. I thought yeah, it was. Don't do, okay. yeah. don't do the thing. Don't do the thing. All right. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Uh, and with that, I will pass the turn. I'm so sorry. My path of ancestry. Trick. Yeah. You got it. So do the I thing. Can scribe. Yeah. Do the thing. I knew it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Without knowing. Yes. Right. Exactly. Now I will pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm. Boom. Soul talisman. What's up? Uh, on the stack. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Draw. Hmm. Mana Crypt. <laughs> On the stack. <laughs> okay. I don't like that. She gained four mana. No likes, no mana. Hmm. Okay. Let's remember to do this. We're going to go for a Thought Vessel. Right. On the stack. Uh, if it wasn't flooded, that's fine. It's just been flooded, but yet playing cards <laughs> for a long time. I've been attacked. a long time. All right, um, soul ring. Okay, <laughs> this is kind of fun. You can cyclonic riff me again. I, I really like getting to re-experience all this, all these cards. Grape shot me for twenty-three after replaying all your artifacts. <laughs> this is kind of an almost win the game card, so I have to try. Seagate restoration. Draw cards equal a number of cards in my hand plus one. You have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. That plus one really matters. It does. <laughs> Any response, Ben? I have no response. Best priority. The j 
will also pass pretty I well. want you to feel every one of these, because I know how much you love it when other people draw cards. No! <laughs> well, <I'm gonna> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm drawing fifteen. So you have twenty. One, you have two, almost a third three, of your deck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh. I'm surprised I was able to remember all those numbers. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's sad about it? Uh, so flooded, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got a couple lands here? <sighs> just so flooded here, I gotta I tell you, man. Just, wow. Been there. Darn. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> All right, um, how many lands do you have on the battlefield? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you kind of skydived. One, there. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you you didn't. You're, you got it. I got eight, too. I have. Okay. I can count to 15. I can count to eight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. No, I didn't kidding. mean to insult you. <laughs> All right, so I can't get anything with the puppies or the knight. So, no. Darn. Yeah, that is sad. Or, or, I agree. Let's suspend the lotus bloom for zero. What else am I gonna do? Fix that. I it, this this could take a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Mox Diamond and discard a. Oh, that's a card disadvantage. We're gonna win now. <laughs> <laughs> Down a card. Oh no. Sea Chrome Coast. Right. Discard a land card or sacrifice. Yep. One man of any color. I'm going to. Twenty-six. The good news for you guys, I don't. I, I still don't have many ways to win the game in here. <laughs> I'm gonna put down the sky. Sky Cloud Expanse. I'm gonna cast Arcane Signet when I or not Arcane Signet, Azoria Signet when I find it. There we go. This is like the prairie stream. The what? The prairie stream. It kind of. Now I gotta find them in my hand. It might be a challenge. Uh, let's see. Next time you stream on Twitch, you should name it the Prairie Stream. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people get that? Not uh, enough. Just me. Not enough, man. I know. That's that's just the way that is. That's just it's the a way tough world. it is. <laughs> Some things will never change. Look out for CGB and Blake's band coming <laughs> coming to. Uh... <laughs> it's just the way it is. I'm going to play Solitary Confinement, the worst possible. At the beginning of my upkeep, I sacrifice it unless I discard a card. I have to skip my draw step. I have Shroud, hype, and uh, prevent all damage that would be dealt to me. This is fine. You guys are gonna. Have I to don't leave. think it's fine. Yeah, you gotta leave me alone now. Yeah, man, discarding for you is real, a uh, real bummer. <laughs> I don't have enough. Yeah, I'm pretty low on cards. It's gonna be real. No, I'm going to end my turn there. No creature plays. I mean. Yeah. What's the point of those things? Well, well yeah, yeah, that. Guys, just leave me alone over here. I'm just gonna be enjoying the, my no max hand size and my thirty card hand. I'll untap like this. And what gives you shroud? Well, Solitary confinement gives me shroud, <laughs> and it prevents all damage dealt to me. Did you so. rip the thaw vessel? I cannot be targeted. I did not rip the oh, thaw vessel. I will okay. tap. This can two. still be targeted. An arcane sickness. Maybe there's some rude cat in your hand that would target it. I'll tap, mm. I'll tap three for <laughs> here he's back. Academy manufacturer. Here we go again. And then <sighs> I will tap a black one and three for a Skullport merchant. Greatest Skullport merchant ever. Take two. Take two, <laughs> yeah. We got a clue. We got a treasure. We got a clue. Where's your Rampaging Baylocks? In my hand. That's weird. I just remember it was on the battlefield at one point. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> I That Cyclonic Rift went pretty well for me. I'm not going to Honestly, lie. it almost worked out better for you than me. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. That was pretty, it turned my draw seven into a draw, draw 15. 15. <laughs> Sheesh. I'll we'll play a forest for turn. Yeah, I will discard. Well, Corvold will go to my command zone. Interesting. I will discard a Butcher of Malakir, a Fling, two Mountains, and a Kirky. I will tap four. 
I will activate Riftide uh, Director to draw four cards, if we're all cool with that. I look forward to the story of these lands. Hmm. Five lands? <laughs> How do you draw five? <laughs> Great question. I'm very focused on my turn right now. And by that, I mean all lands. Um, <laughs> subscribe to Blake's Only Lands. <laughs> <laughs> new, new content every day. <laughs> so dumb. I love it. Pictures of his hands. Full of only lands. Full of lands, <laughs> yeah. My, my landy hands. I will tap two. To play Aether Adept, when the Zen was the battlefield, to return our creature to its owner's hand. Is everyone Gucci with that? Cool beans. Uh, yeah. Mm, <clears throat> I will trigger Inala to make a copy. Um, we'll use the Lava Glide pathway. I will then choose your two creatures. Shay, we're friends. I'll not choose any of your creatures. So these all get bounced to their hand. You know what? I'm going to bounce them all twice. He, he, he kind of wants, at least the merchant, he can play that again. Yeah, he can have so many treasures and food. I'm a nice guy. He'd be bouncing the crap out of me if he could. <laughs> He's so jelly. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Ugh. Shay, we really need to deal with solitary confinement. You do have a way. I will protect it on your turn. Because we are... Friends in peace in our time. Shin. Speaking of peace, I will attack Ben. Speaking of peace. Death for seven. Pain. <laughs> Only seven? Like? They're wizards, dude. <laughs> They're not hitting the gym. <laughs> We're hitting the library. As a wizard who's never hit the gym, I can confirm. <laughs> the library is this seven. way. <laughs> Down to 20. Past turn. Shay just chilling with the, about double our life total. Yeah, it's not cool, actually, but... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, to gain eight of that, she had to sacrifice everything. Yeah. Wasn't worth it. Okay, on my upkeep, Harold Torn triggers. <gasps> Look at the top card. It's not a cat. Is what? it not? Oh. I was You're not supposed to. I was be guessing. At I didn't our look. Card. <laughs> no, so nosy. I don't know if it was possible for you to have seen it. I couldn't have seen it. I was just, I was just with prey. <laughs> super sus. Was that not sus? That was sus. That was I'm not sus. sus. So it's not a cat. Okay. Well, um, actually, it is a cat. So I will reveal it, and it oh. will go into hand. Nice. I guess Blake's not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of glad it was a cat. I don't hey, wanna... what was the cat for the audience? Like, you oh, showed yeah. it to us. Yep, so this is Leonin Shikari. You may activate equip abilities anytime you could cast an instant. Mm. I'm starting to wonder, oh, like, man. you've got an equipment... Sky... There might be an equipment thing here, because we've only seen the, the Shadow Spear. Okay, I'm getting scared. Yeah. I'm right. a little bit scared. So you still have... All right, that was upkeep. That was yeah, upkeep. Yeah, you should be scared. Just give me a solitary confinement. And I get to also draw? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> huh. Mul multiple cards a turn is awesome. This is why Blue Mage is Blue Mage. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> um, sweet. Branch Loft Pathway. Okay, tap in two for Leonin Relic Warder. As a reminder, when it enters the battlefield, I may exile target artifact or enchantment. Uh -huh. Path of Ancestry also triggers. Uh-huh. I will try first. I guess I'll keep it. I am going to target your solitary confinement. But why? <laughs> why would I do Such that? Such a good card. So it's, it's totally fine. Uh, all right. Then solitary confinement will go that under. Good. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then yes, when this leaves the battlefield, like you will get that back to the battlefield. Yes, I will. Yes, you will. Yes, I will. Cool. Tapping one because it costs one less for my Leon and Shikari. Mm -hmm. 
Activate equip abilities anytime you could cast an instant. That's a cute one. That's a cute cat. <laughs> Pretty fierce. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If any equipment shows up, it's really scary, but you might find it with the Sky Guard. Yeah, right? potentially. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tapping one for Shadow Spear. It's back. It's back. I'm going to pay two. I mean, I guess I could do it at instant speed if I wanted to be sneaky in an attack, but we'll just equip it now. There is some weird stuff, like if you hit Lightning Greaves off attacking with the Sky Hunter, it would give it Shroud and then you couldn't equip it, so there's no reason not to. Okay. Yeah. Leaving me with one mana. Tapping one for Ranker. This already gives it Trample. Really, it'd just be going for a bigger buff. Which is not a bad thing. Which is not a bad thing. Plus extra life link. Yeah, we'll throw it on there. Okay, going into combat, triggering eminence. I'm gonna give the plus three, plus three to my armored sky hunter. That's big. It's big. <laughs> yeah, making it a four, six, plus the three, a nine, seven. Nine's the important part. Yeah. <laughs> nine, seven. Yeah. I'm going to swing it at CGB, the 30, 30 hand person. Yeah, when it attacks, look at the top six. So you may put an aura or equipment card from among them onto the battlefield. Um, in response yep. to that trigger, because it could hit Lightning Greaves, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to... Actually, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> and I, you I, say I yeah. do blue player things. No, 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 oh no. my goodness. I, I, I forgot about something. That's fine. No, that, I, that's, I do feel bad about it, that, but that that's okay. Fun. Go ahead and do the trigger. Oh, that was boy. much more sus than anything yeah. else. Okay. Top six cards. Was it a whiff? A cool whiff? Yeah, it was a whiff. You got my joke. It was a big whiff. Okay, so they just go on the bottom of the library in random order. Yep. Yep, just give them a little shuffle. Thank Goodbye, you. cards. Thank you. I'm sorry you were not in equipment. That's a bummer. This is a bummer. Okay. Okay, I am going to attempt to cast... Pongify targeting your Leonin Relic Warder to get back my solitary confinement. Mm -hmm. Destroy it and make a 3 3 8. Are you going to make good on that promise to defend it, Blake? I don't break promises. Dissipate. So counter target uh, spell. Target spell, and remove it. and exile it. Yep. I don't right. break promises, Shay. Never forget. I don't think I'll need this card. All right, I'm going to cast Force of Negation and counter Dissipate, hopefully exiling a Mystic Remora from my hand since it's not my turn. The fish. For free. Yep, I don't think I'll need the fish. Mm. <laughs> Alas, I do not have the content money, so no Force of Negation. Okay. <laughs> 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 I got this one uh, from uh, Lantern Games here, I think. All right. I feel okay. a little betrayed getting uh, yes. blown out by it. I'm just, I'm, I tried, Shay. Yeah, thanks. But I got a gift for you. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Does the still attack still go through? Whoa. No. Oh, my the, gosh. The attack, the attack still hits me, but then all damage yeah, yeah, is prevented. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Hence, no life. I know. So sad. Bummer. Do you have any way to deal with that enchantment? I don't know. In no, your not right now. Jack? Not right You're now. You're running well, not right now. Yeah. All right. I'll allow it. I'm passing the turn. Where's the Boseju's? All right. I'm going to cast Omen of the Sea on end step. So flash when there's a battlefield. Scry two, then draw. Oh, where's Yorian? Omen of the Sea always makes me miss Yorian. All right, my turn. Untap. I could flip for Mana Crypt, um, but it doesn't matter because it prevents the damage. 
So I'm just going to say crypt trigger on the stack. If anybody can remove solitary confinement before then, the flip matters. If not, I'm just not going to do it. So crypt, tri crypt trigger on the stack. All good. And tick down Lotus Bloom and go to draw. I would do not draw for solitary confinement. I have to discard a card, actually, for solitary confinement. Can't forget that either. I was supposed to do that upkeep, but it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> All right. Because I don't know if it's fine. It's totally fine. 100%. And the question is, what do I do now? <laughs> got all that got all these cards. I've got Jeez. mana. I'm going to so play land much. for turn. I know, it's it's terrible. I could use some more, though. So I'm going to play Sad Robot. <laughs> We're going to go fetch a land. Make it an island. I'm going to pay white and white to vanquish the horde. Destroy all creatures. I have no response. Because <laughs> I have no response. How about you? What are you, what are you doing? It's pretty good. All right. <laughs> hey, they tried to kill me. All right, <laughs> Solemn draws a card. <laughs> and it begins. I found the win con. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shark Typhoon oh. Hardcast. Wow. E. 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 Goes back to sure. Amiri is calm. I'm going to make a 7-7 seven, seven shark. It's going to gain indestructible till my next turn, and I'm going to make two 4-4 four, four angels. And that's going to be my play. After that, I'm done. Okay. I will sacrifice my treasure, tap one, to sacrifice my clue, and I will draw a card. I think a 7-7 seven, seven, seven shark is worthy of the metal token. <laughs> I will untap at my turn. I will play. Can you guys guess? <laughs> Skullport Merchant? Oh, uh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't remember oh. how to say it. I don't remember it. <laughs> say oh, it. Oh. Announce it. Manu Manufactor. Manufactor. Yeah, Academy Manufactor. <laughs> you guys are really hyped about that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's impressive. We like up will... the storm cup. <laughs> and guess what? Guess what? Oh. A Skullport Ooh. Merchant. More treasure. We'll More treasure. food. A clue. Can you and I'll put a die on the Wait, what food. card made it so that you got these extra tokens? The Academy Manufactor. <laughs> then I will tap one, two, and three to play a card we have not seen yet. A Scoot Swarm. Ooh. I have not played a land for a turn yet. Unless, well, that's on the stack. Okay. Oh, you're a um, I will play You're a, a bummer. <laughs> that 2022. <laughs> I will play an Ebon Stronghold, which I can, it enters taps, and I can tap it for a black or s tap and sack it for two black. Okay. And that will make a copy of the Scoot Swarm because I have six or more lands. So it begins. So every land you play is gonna make is gonna trigger each scoot swarm yep. to make so more copies of more scoot swarms. Yeah. So it grows. They're one ones, but eh. it grows exponentially, right? Yep. That's yes. how this works. Yeah. Okay, it's let's not logistic. go. <laughs> let's go. I don't like this. I'm feeling scared. I'm feeling scared. Okay. 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 Stupid targeting restrictions on Shroud. Hmm. Hmm. His face. That face you make. What good card did you draw? I will ca I will wizard cycle Videlkin Aether Mage. For those of you who are not sure what wizard cycling is, I may discard this card to search my library for a wizard card, reveal it, put it into my hand, then shuffle my library. Wee wee wee. No stifles. Wee woo. I am going to give Bloodline Necromancer. Ooh. This is a 3-2 with lifelink for 5. When it enters the battlefield, I may return target vampire or wizard from my graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. And with your commander, you can do it twice? Potentially, if, mm. if we're feeling friendly. You couldn't, you couldn't like, copy the thing that comes back from the graveyard. I can, you actually. You can? Because okay. it's when a non-target wizard enters the battlefield. Nice. Not when you I will now tap 5 mana, and I will cast... 
Bloodline Necromancer. Oh Perfect. When it enters the battlefield, I will make a copy of it. Two Bloodline Necromancers. I will get two creatures out of my graveyard. Or two wizards, rather. Oh, Loopy. What's it gonna do? The first one will get Harmonic Prodigy. The second one will get Aether Adept. We're all cool with that. Uh huh. Harmonic Prodigy will enter the battlefield. I will not activate Anala. Aether Adept will enter the battlefield. I will tap one to make a copy of Aether Adept. Each of these will bounce two creatures to their owner's hand, so I will bounce two of your Scoot Swarms. And then I will bounce your 7-7 seven, seven and your 4-4 four, four, uh, four, four Angel. Okay. I will move to combat. Shay, you know I care about you. But I will attack you with a 3-2 Life Linker and a 2-2 two, two Not So Lifey Linker. <laughs> you know I care about you. <laughs> yeah, I die. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, oh, that's five total? Yep. And then I I will gain three life off the lifelink. Then in the old second main phase, I will play unclaimed territory. I will choose wizard, not cat. Huh. I will then move to my end step where these two will go away. And I'll pass the turn. I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. looked that looked pretty fun. Mm -hmm. That was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Herald Thorn on my upkeep. Point peak. Hmm. It's not a creature card of the chosen type, so I will not be revealing it. And I will draw a turn. Tapping two for Stalking Leonin. Choose a different person. Fancy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I don't know who she picked. Yeah, I don't know. Either. I want to know uh, who I she picked to, the no, first I need time. To, yeah, I need to know yeah. these things. Right. At the end, we have to have a... Who did she pick? Reveal party. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a launch party, dude. Feel who, like the first one. <laughs> who did you most want to just wreck with your exile effect? Yeah, right. Okay. We will toss the old one. Replace it with the new one. Let's go down there. Okay. Thank you. Yep. One, two, three, four, five mana left. Tapping four for Keeper of the Keeper of Fables. Whenever one or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Oh boy. Path of Ancestry triggers, so I get to scry one. Cool. Pass the turn. Okay. Untap. <clears throat> Lots of upkeep, so solitary confinement, mana trigger. Um, any response? No. Uh, Lotus Bloom Tick, discard the solitary confinement. Because we got to deal with this. I know. No, that's, I'm not. I'm just over here chilling. So bounce. I'm chilling. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. Either. I'll I'll I don't want you to make a million scoots. Yeah, white orchid. That doesn't change anything about his board state, darn. No draw step. Darn. I, I, I'll, I'm i going to figure something out. I, I know it's hard to watch me just not drawing cards. <laughs> All right, let's open the proceedings with the Fairy's Ageless Insight. Remember this card? Yeah. Mm. Four, four, unfortunately. 4-4 four, yeah. four Shark. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be using real estate. Okay. <laughs> let's hide some of the enchantments that aren't going to do too much over here. One, two, three, four, five, including two blue. For Behold the Unspeakable. Creatures I don't control all get minus two minus O until my next That's turn. I, it's the cyclonic rift effect, guys. We we get to see all the same cards over again. That's why everybody loves the card. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why it's such a so it. popular. It is. <laughs> oh wait, these are the dice I should be using. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Inventive iteration. <laughs> We'll just keep Pretty the sure time's coming. a flat circle, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm. All right, four, four shark. 
Return up to one target creature or Planeswalker to owner's hand. I, yeah, I mean, time is a flat circle, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, bouncing your stuff is always makes bad things happen because your eminence commander is just super repetitive. You know what? I like, you know, Ben, I want you to not get overpowered by the things going on here. I'm going to bounce your Skullport Merchant. Okay. So that when you play it again, you get all kinds of toys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm helping. I'm helping. Helping. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a friend of the table. I'm just over here doing okay. my thing and enjoying it. White and blue make a 2-2 shark. Play Confounding Conundrum. This is a card that only matters when people ramp, but if they do ramp, they have to return a land back to their hand after ramping. And I'll draw two cards because of... Fairy's Ageless Insight. I'll play Aerial Surveyor. This is a vehicle, which is not a creature, so it triggers Shark Typhoon, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Makes a 3 3 shark. So Aerial Surveyor is a new card and as flying, and when it attacks, if defending player controls more lands than you, search your library for a planes. Probably not going <laughs> to be a thing in a minute. I, I've pulled ahead in the lands race. I think I'll play Al Seed of Life's Bounty for a little bit of protection. I'll take the 4-4 Angel, and I will attack Blake. 4-4 four, four Flyer. <clears throat> yeah, no blocks. Then I'm done. I will untap my dudes, and, well, I guess he's not tapped, but I'll untap my lands. Draw a card. We'll play a Beast Whisperer. Whenever I cast a creature spell, I may draw a card. It's a good card. Cool with me. Can you draw into some enchantment removal? Maybe. Maybe. Cool. Um, I'll tap to pass the Skull Fort Merchant. <laughs> make... The value continues. <laughs> Just to make, make sure, what card's letting you make all these tokens? The Academy Manu Factor. Thank you. That will go What's up to... What was that about time being a flat circle? Go up to three. And the clue will go up to two. And your whisper. And I will draw a card off playing, casting a creature. I'll tap one and tap and sacrifice the Ebon Stronghold for three. To play Scoot Storm. It's back. I will draw a card off Beast Whisperer. How many cards are in your hand? See, Mine? Yes. Yeah. What a question. <laughs> what a question. I've yeah. been working on this. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten are in my hand. Okay. Well, I mean, that's good. I We're thought, I, good, I thought it was going well. <laughs> How do you only have ten, you... Yeah. Had 25. I, I discard to solitary, Gross. I skip my draw step, and I hand vomit. Hand vomit. <laughs> just all over the yeah. field. You sure did. Yep. I'll fix it soon. I'll get more. I'll do better. Please. I can do better. For us, do better. <laughs> you don't want to know For how I... Do <laughs> you don't want to see me I do will... better. True. <laughs> I will sacrifice the two treasures for, let's say, green, and tap this. Or another card we've already seen. You have a my Elder. <laughs> I will draw a card off Beast Whisperer. Okay. <laughs> you know this, these decks are supposed to be singleton, right? Not, not the same four cards. Yes, I understand. Okay, that. just checking. I've not played a land per turn yet. I will play a mountain. And I will make a copy of Scoop Swarm. <laughs> the Scooty Boy. <laughs> And I do not get a card because I didn't cast that. Mm. Okay, so what? Only he can attack? Yeah. And he's <laughs> minus two? Right? Yeah. Minus a, okay. So you probably find chilling. Mm. Yeah, I will chill. And I will go to discard because I have eight cards. <laughs> yeah. You should borrow one it's of his my... three ways to have a max, no max answer. Right. I have so many good cards. Avoid decision fatigue, kids. I think kids. this might be... <laughs> Might be kind of surprising, but I'm going to discard Rampaging Baylock. Get your thought vessels. Oh. 
and see gate restorations at coolstuffinc.com and avoid decision fatigue like the poor Ben is suffering. <laughs> I have the thaw bezel in. You're a real giver, CGB. Nah. Don't let your rampant don't let your rampaging bay loss be discarded to hand <laughs> yeah. size. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Uh, you done? Yes, I am. Uh, on Ben's end step. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just gonna tap for an enlightened tutor. Oh. Search your library for an artifact or enchantment card, reveal that card to all players, mm. shuffle your library and put the revealed card back on top. While you search, I will take my turn. Casual and fun blank. Save it, save it for the PTQ. <laughs> Heck, at this point, you guys probably should be talking about what to choose. Yeah, to be, no, I'm trying to, to be honest. To be, no. <laughs> I don't really want to give away what I have to deal oh. with it, should that get dealt with. Oh, I just she, can't deal I with that. I see. Okay. We you can... got big super secrets. Yeah, you got I'll a, reveal you some it. of my big supers right here. Yeah, you made five shards. Okay. I'm going to play a Molten Echoes. This is an enchantment that when it enters the battlefield, I choose a creature type. Whenever a non-token creature of the chosen type enters the battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy of that creature. It gets haste, exile at the beginning of the next end step. More I get a free wizards? Anala. More wizards? More wizards. wizards. Is that cool with everybody? Yeah. That's, that's this is cool. so cool, dude. Cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. In that case, I will play my favorite card in this whole entire deck. Pyre of Heroes. This is a two-mana artifact. I can pay two and tap it. Sack a creature. Search your library for a creature card that shares a creature type with the sacrifice creatures. Uh, of, that shares a, sac a creature type with converted mana cost equal to plus one. So it's basically a birthing pod for tribal. Yep. We cool beans with that? Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Mm. I like beans. We're going to activate Pyre of Heroes. We're going to say... Like Goodbye, Aether Dept. I just said I did. I don't know if you were listening. <laughs> I didn't know people liked beans. Beans are good. I, I used to hate beans, but then I got older and I grew up and they're good. <laughs> Top five stories I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> I used to hate most <laughs> I vegetables. I used to hate beans. I don't so much anymore. Beans are all right. I used to hate long games of Commander, but then I grew up, and now I just savor every moment with my friends, which is why I tend to play decks that don't actually ever end games. Can confirm. Love it. Interesting. Oh, wait, can I kill you? What? Potentially. I will get off of Pyre of Heroes... Venser, Shaper, Savant. When it enters the battlefield, return target spell or permanent to its owner's hand. That means I could return a spell on the stack. Um, Molten Echoes will trigger. I will get a copy. Um, and I will not pay to make another copy. I will immediately Legend Rule this one away, but I will choose to bounce your uh, Solitary Confinement. And... And then probably your all state of life spot. Interesting. What else? Do you, I, maybe I'm missing something. There's nothing really too spooky. Actually, I will return your tundra to your hand. <laughs> so I am going to choose with Venser, tundra, and uh, it even says non-land. No, lame. And Solitary Confinement. All right, two things. Mm. I'm tapping the tundra, sacrificing seeing all state of life's bounty to give Solitary Confinement protection from blue. Yeah. Then I bounce my Tundra, which triggers my commander. Oh, it's not on the field. Yeah. That's the second time that's happened to me this game. I knew that. I had to get that out at some point. We have plays, ways to play around the next time. So. I didn't know that could protect an enchantment. It does target yeah. creature or enchantment. Wow. You control against protecting from a color of your choice. Wow. Lock. Put him in the lock. Yeah, this is tough. Mm -hmm. Rough and tough. I can also reveal what I grabbed. Please yeah. Go. Smothering Tithe. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very well, interesting. Hey, sure. Okay. I, no, it makes, she, she's been constrained on mana. That yeah, could pop yeah. off if I start drawing a lot of cards. Um, second main phase, I must pass. Well, you tried, Blake. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I got plans. All right. Yes. Um, Herald's Horn on my upkeep. We know. Yes. We know it doesn't hit this time. Right. right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll do four for Smothering Tithe. <laughs> okay. Tap in three for a Duelist's Heritage. 
Whenever one or more creatures attack, you may have target attacking creature gain double strike until end of turn. From what I understand, that would include others' creatures. Yeah. Oh. That's whenever one or more creatures attack. So that's any player. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Politic. Yeah, I think I'll just chill. Okay. Let's start another fun turn. All right, upkeep. Any response to the mana crypt trigger? All right, just gonna skip the roll since it doesn't matter because I have the confinement. We're gonna bring out the Lotus Bloom. Yay. And we're going to discard the solitary confinement. This loyal warhound can go. And enter main phase, we're gonna do some triggers. So behold the unspeakable first. I, I scry two, then draw two cards, but it's four because of Ageless Insight. And Smothering Tithe will trigger. Yep, I'm not paying any. I'm paying nothing. Okay. So you just, whenever I draw while that thing's out, you make whatever treasures. And you do your thing. I'm gonna keep both and draw four. Then I'm going to return an artifact. If I can't, I draw a card. Do I have an artifact? I got Sabre Robot. Why not? <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna return the sad Robot back to my hand. We're going to cast the reality chip. This is the, <laughs> as talked about in my intro, this legendary artifact creature equipment jellyfish lets me look at the top card of my, my library anytime. <laughs> as long as it's attached to a creature, I may play lands from the top of my library, reconfigure two and a blue. Resolve? Okay, yep. No mm. response. You're good. Get nosy. And then we're going to go for that sweet, sweet equip. Because we didn't come this far to not do this. Uh, who who gets this? I'll pay um, you. It, <laughs> not you. I'm going to put it on Baby Shark over here. <laughs> the tutu. Baby. <laughs> 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 All right. It's time to start playing cards from the top of my library, guys. So we're going to start with Swords to Plowshares, which was going to make a very Baby Shark, a little one one. We'll start making Shark Pile over here. It's not you on the show. Uh, hey, 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 I gotta, I, I, this is reserved for Daddy Shark, oh, and I'm yeah, running yeah, low, yeah. so give me a break. <laughs> All right, um, Swords to Plowshares, what's my target? For content, if you leave this guy alone, I will kill one of these two, I can't kill you. Huh. With a very Come fun on. thing that the players huh. will like. What a thing to Come say on. out loud. <laughs> You guys I'm, haven't dealt with any of his stuff. I'm going I'm after. Trying. I'm going for this because I think that this is going to get me. Get you. That's <laughs> I think fair. she picked That's me. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. I think she picked me. So I'm going after stalking That's Leonin. Fair. It gets exiled, and you gain three life from the top. Restoration of Iganjo. Make eight three three shark. And I'm running. I don't know what I'm going to do for more sharks. This is going to get a little bit wild. Sharks do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, but I search my library for a planes on chapter one and chapter two is I can get something two or less back from the graveyard by discarding and chapter three is it becomes a three four fox monk. I'm going to tap a white and two others for monologue tax and I am going to make another shark. <laughs> that is also a three three. I'm just well, let's keep track of that with like the second <laughs> spell, there. right? Uh, yeah, every time the second spell of a turn is cast, I, I get a treasure. Other than my own. It has to be an opponent doing right. it. Okay. I'm going to play my Tundra. I miss it. I'm going to move to combat. Shay, would you like to give anything here a double strike? Oh, she can choose to do it? I, she, yeah, yeah, it's... Whenever uh, one or more creatures attack. Oh, wait, I guess I have to... Okay, I have to declare an attacking first. All right, Shay. I've learned a lesson about you. <laughs> I'm, I'm attacking you in the air with my creatures. Mm. Would you like to give anything double strike? <laughs> Would you like to give okay, anything so double strike? Thank yeah. God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like... Is she, I think she can give her own creatures defensive double strike, but it's all airborne. Is that a no on double strike? Yeah, that's a no. That's, that's a no just, on I'm just strike. checking. <laughs> oh, fine. Yeah. Stuff. Okay, 22. 22 in the air. Okay. Taking 22. All right. Post combat. Sack for three blue. I'm going to cast Temeshi Reality Architect. 
Resolve. Uh, that's, that's my command. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm going to pay a white, and I'm going to return a planes to my hand. Target Lotus Bloom, and I'm going to draw two cards. And I will make two treasures. So this doesn't say activate only once a turn. Yeah, so as long crazy. as I can bounce a land, I have that much mana. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Now the draw ability only works once a turn. Yes. So I'm not going to draw anymore when I do it, but I can make a ton of mana. So let's leave one white floating here, sacrifice this, regurgitate the Alcide of Life's Bounty, then use the one white, return the Lotus Bloom, and that makes me bounce two lands. Uh, sack the Lotus Bloom for the white, regurgitating the Seal of Cleansing, we'll bounce another land, and then we'll make another white, bounce the Tundra, regurgitate the Lotus Bloom. This is, this is fine. Is everything fine? It's fine. Okay, everything's fine. <laughs> I'm going to pay one for an Ivory Tower, making a 1-1 one, one Shark. <laughs> So I now, at the beginning of my upkeep, gain life equal to the number of cards in my hand over four. That's not bad. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy crap. This is insane. Wait, what? <laughs> at the beginning of my upkeep, I gain life uh, for each card in my hand over four. So it's a lot of life. Baby shark. It's a lot of life. One, two, three, four, I don't know five. how I... I think... I don't know how we come back. Now, oh, okay. Now I have a question about the solitary. Talk to me. If it's in fact, it, it prevents all damage. Prevents all damage. All damage. Yep. Prevent all non kitty cat poison damage. I'm going to seal of cleansing the smothering tide. Okay. I'm going to do the thing where I sack the lotus bloom and use the sky trout expanse and do that loop again to bring back the seal of cleansing and the lotus bloom, bouncing two more lands. Do they have to be planes that I bounce? No. Oh. It's just Sweet. what I usually bounce. <laughs> right, yeah, I, yeah. I've noticed. <laughs> I need the Archaeomancer's map. I could put all those back in the battlefield. <laughs> I think you're doing stuff right now. I, I feel really good about it. All right, I'm done now. I'm done. You're done? Yep, I'm done. You sure? End step stuff. Yes, I'm done. Thank God this is whenever an opponent, or I don't, that would cause trouble too. All right, <laughs> yeah, go. I will... Untap. Don't forget about your upkeep. And then your draw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just helping. Just here to help. Yeah. Just a nice guy. I will tap a swamp. And play a viscera seer. He inside creature and scribe one. Dude, that's so metal that it goes through their like their body parts to look ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's pretty metal. You're gonna it tell is. me. Yeah, yeah. So metal. So metal. So metal. It's, so getting, metal. it's getting late. Everybody's getting sarcastic. So metal. I'm gonna tap two and sack the Yabba My Elder. Perfect. And draw a card and then put two lands in my hand. I will play said mountain. Trigger scoots once? It, it will, yes. And I will play a gold span dragon. And I will draw a card off Beast Whisper. Arrow. I trigger a monologue tax and I get a treasure. And you get it. Oh, no. <laughs> I will go to combat. But I will just swing. Gold span. Look at this haste. And play. And on, on, <laughs> on attack, I will get a treasure token. Oh, love it. Dragon! Woohoo. Tap one for a orcish lumberjack. Of course. I, will, I can tap and sacrifice a forest and add three mana of any gruel combination that I would like, which is red or green. I will draw a card from Beast Whisperer. Oh yeah. I think I gotta, at this point in the game, I gotta start second stuff to scry for a certain card. 
<laughs> um, so I'll sacrifice one scoot swarm and scry. Put that at the bottom. I will sacrifice another scoot swarm. Put that at the bottom. I'll sacrifice another copy of scoot swarm and scry. Um, I will keep that on top and I'll pass. All right. We did it. Well, considering there is not much of a chance that we last till next yeah. turn, I'm going out with style. Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to discard. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. I will discard a swamp. Uh, a little longer. Squee, squee, goblin, the bob. Mm -hmm. And a oh, it's the goblin nabob. Oh. And a since it's not very useful, a just gets will. <laughs> May I take my turn? Uh, okay. Nope. That's actually my yep. seventh card, so I can okay. keep that one in my hand. All right. <laughs> we all knew about it anyway. Yeah, yeah. A turn Whatever just the way we drew it up. I can't wait. I'll play Swamp for turn. Nice. Exciting. I will play Reflections of Litajara. This is an enchantment. As in as a battlefield, I create, choose a creature type. I'm going to choose wizards. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, copy that spell. So I basically make a token copy of anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't do anything to you, so you're not too worried. Not much. Okay. I'm just here for the fireworks. <laughs> Let there be fireworks, then. Grand tap three. I'm going to play Anathomancer. This is a wizard that when it comes into play, it deals damage to target player equal to the number of non-basic lands that player controls. If that resolves, well, I will do a Reflections of Later Jar to make a copy. I will do Molten Echoes to make a copy. I will deal, and since they're all being doubled, I will deal six times. And you have one, two, three, four, five non-basics. So I will use four of my six Anathomancer triggers to deal 20 damage to you. Okay. Cool. I'll use my other two to deal 10 damage. Uh, how much do you I have? Only three. three. No, to deal much. six damage to you. Okay. I will then pay two. Cat Fire of Heroes. Sacrifice one of my copies. I will yes. get Basalt Ravager. This is then enters the battlefield. It deals X damage to any target where X is the greatest number of creatures uh, you control that have a creature type in common. I will then get a Molten Echoes trigger, making another Basalt Ravager. I will then pay two to make two more Basalt Ravagers. Uh, the first one will deal damage to you equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. Six damage to you, double to 12, because of Harmonic Prodigy. That's the first one. <laughs> so the first How many are there? Four? There's three. Three more after three this. Three more? How, 12 damage? 12. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna start sack. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> sacrifice the gold span dragon. What are we doing? Yes. Why? Gonna, I want to try and survive. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna, I remember that okay. card. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. Is that a pop vessel? It was, yes. <laughs> it's not a vessel. I'm gonna soon. sacrifice. You could have drawn it with the treasure. You never had it's to fine, discard. It's fine. Okay, go on. I'm gonna sacrifice the orcish lumberjack to scry one. Oh, put that on the bottom. Sacrifice a scoot swarm to draw the scry one. I'll put that on the bottom. I've said this before, but this is the definition of rearranging deck chairs of the Titanic. <laughs> I will sacrifice the, <laughs> the Beast Whisperer. We're all laughing, but when he actually He's somehow yeah, I'll does be impressed. something here, I don't know what gets you out of like 50 damage to yeah, face on the stack. I have 48 damage coming, but um, let's see I'll what sacrifice. Viscerous here can do, bro. <gasps> no, no, not that. <laughs> not that. Not that. Oh, That's the last thing you say. How dare you? That's not. The forest will not do it. No? No. No? Oh, I could have oh, yeah. oh, man. I'll sacrifice. Well, let's see. No. I'll tap two uh -huh. to sacrifice <laughs> yeah. a food. No, not the three life. <laughs> not the gumdrop buttons. To activate Skullport Merchants. Oh. Well, wait, 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 wait. That would draw a card. That doesn't strike. Um. Oh, I have to attack him. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll draw. I'll draw the card. Okay. Yeah. Whatever it is. Okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> then I'll say the skullboard words and describe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't help either. Okay. And then I'll say itself. Describe. Yourself right With its dying breath. <laughs> in one last no. swoop. I needed one mana. Oh no. If I kept the. No, I would have gotten into it. Okay. And then what? Yeah, yeah what would have happened if you had the mana? You gotta show us. If that. I had the mana, one more mana, I could have done that. <laughs> oh, and then oh, it's gonna use control and gain yeah, hex yeah, proof, yeah, yeah, and you would. And take... I could have responded by killing right. you anyway. Okay. So I'm gonna use two of yeah. mine to kill, deal tw oh. twenty four damage to you. I'm oh, dead. Yeah. And then with the final two, I'll deal twenty four damage to myself. To yourself? <laughs> <laughs> to yourself? But uh, the glory. The glory is. I mine. was gonna. I was. I was gonna. <laughs> 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 Die, die. I killed the most players! <laughs> uh, oh my god. You dead. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is... Wow, that was a crazy game. What a weird game. This is, in my opinion, the perfect ending. I didn't even have to be part of the conclusion. <laughs> I'm just over here in my ivory tower looking down upon the battles of the people below and uh, reveling in my sky full of sharks. It's kind of awesome. Yeah. This wizard's deck was kind of fun. Do I, have to, do I have to end it? Can I just keep playing over here? Yeah, you can keep playing. <laughs> okay, cool. That's good. Because that's what I'm really here for. <laughs> so I just want to let you guys know, I had constant miss in my hand for the longest time. Oh. And I thought, once Blake said, like, I thought it would be combat damage, but then he's like, it's face like damage. it was face damage, and I was like, no! <laughs> face damage. Burn. Burn is the problem. That's why more people yeah. should play Solitary Confinement. I, I, I love that card. Didn't love it this yeah. game. But... Yeah, I just, yeah. Ben, so, card of the game. I, I would say, yeah, yeah, there is only one choice. It is Academy Manufacture, for sure. <laughs> Manufacture, baby. The final stack. It made a lot of yeah. food and clues and treasures. Yes. Okay, sweet. Blake, card me? of the game. Pyre of Heroes. Actually my favorite card in this deck. It's so cool, works super well with Anala. 10 out of 10, would use it to kill CGB if he didn't have Solid Deck. <laughs> you totally would. I was impressed in general with the wizard deck. It, Thanks, I kind of yeah, threw it together, was, but it kind of does the thing. It did a lot of cool stuff. I think more people should try it. I yeah. didn't even know about this commander. Eminence is a messed up ability, but okay. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Yeah, it's kind of a, a whack tribal deck. It, it really pops. Yeah, it's a it's a sleeper for sure. No, no, my deck's a sleeper. I'm taking yeah. that from you. Yeah. That's fair. No, you know what? That's fair. <laughs> Shay, there's actually an important question we have as well. Hmm. You chose two opponents this game. Sure did. Should I pull out the notes? Please. Oh yeah, yeah. I need yeah. receipts. Yeah, receipts. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Is this the first or the second? Let's see. Okay, so this is the first. It was me, wasn't it? It was Ben. I know. That's fair. I That's know. fair. I know. Well, no, I'm with the smiley, smiley face. Here so they can see him. Yes. Ben, smiley face, ben, of smiley face. Ben, smiley face. And the second one. Also, I'm sure you guessed. CGB. Yeah, yeah. With a cat face. With a cat face. <laughs> Excellent. I feel a little left out, but I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just make more big things that attack. You, yeah. you did none of that, basically. It was, no, it was sir. All, oh. I got all my big creatures out last week with like, Cascade. Like you said, they never hit the gym. <laughs> True. <laughs> Card of the game. Many <laughs> options going with solitary confinement. Yeah. It's, <sighs> it's the worst, and it's probably going to be retiring, because I don't think I'm going to play it again anytime soon. I'll just lose too many friends. But uh, thank yeah, you, you're guys. Running out. Yeah, this was the only I'm card, I think, that could have dealt week. with it yeah. was Ratchet Bomb. Ratchet Bomb. Ratchet Bomb. bomb. Has got it I'm going looking, on. I'm looking through my Time on. It's the only thing I could have used it. Yep, solitary confinement. Red your bomb plus another turn. I almost yeah. would throw in this awesome mythic Seagate Restoration land. That was it, good. One of my favorite synergies I never got to do before is I got to play it as a land early, yeah. then return it to my hand and cast so it. So sick. Nice cyclonic rift, bro. Oh, that was so gross. Yeah. 
All right, I am this week's champion, so the one and best of one will be choosing the favorite comment to receive a Cool Stuffing gift code. So on behalf of the cast here at the Worst Possible Commander Show, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. You're cool. <laughs> he said it. He said the thing.